Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to give you three simple alternatives that you could do while you're traveling or you just wanna get outside to work out. The, the three movements that I really like that are really simple that you can use a park bench, in this case I'm just gonna use a log, are a push, an alternative to a push up or a bench press that you can do on any place, easy leg exercises, and then I'm gonna show you an easy way to do some rowing or pulling exercises as well. The first exercise, really simple, is just a push-up. Now the push-up, I love the push-up because you can do it anywhere at any time, but there's so many variations of push-ups. And this one I really like if you're on a park bench, or in this case, I'm in a log, where your hands are close and you step out and do a push-up, bring your hands back together, and then step out. The reason I like this is that it keeps you honest when you're doing a push-up. A lot of times you'll see people do push-ups like this. People are like, oh, wrapping them out, wrapping them out. They're not getting full range, they're getting a partial range and they count all the reps. This way, when you have to take a step, when you go here, you gotta come all the way up in order to step all the way over. This is an awesome exercise, a great alternative. You can make it harder if I put my feet on the log and my hands on the ground. So that exercise right there, I love it. Just a lateral step out, push up. Very simple, can be made very hard. Easier, hands on log, harder, feet on log, hands on the floor. The way that I would suggest for you guys to do it is barbarian style. Do one, one, five, pause for 10 count. Fours, pause for eight count. Threes, pause for six count twos, pause for four count, and then ones and done. That's a wicked way to do that. You're gonna get an incredible pump. The next exercise to do, and you can use this same log if you want, is doing a simple step up. Step up you can do in a lot of different ways. The simplest way is just stepping up like so. Now a lot of people step really close to the log or a bench or something like that. What I want you to do, I want you to step that leg way back so you get thigh to calf. That is gonna give you greater range of motion in your hip. You're gonna get a lot more dorsiflexion as well, which everybody needs and wants. And then when we stand out of there, we're gonna get a lot more hip and hamstring as well. So this is a full leg exercise. And because you're on a log, you're gonna get an unstable surface a little bit. It's gonna be way harder. If you wanna make it harder, you bring that leg up. So it's very unstable. Get a deep range of motion. And I'm gonna do the exact same workout. I'm gonna do 10 on one leg, 10 on the other leg. Then I'm gonna rest for 10 seconds, then I'm gonna go eight, eight, rest for eight seconds, six, six, four, four, two, two, done. Killer workout, it's gonna be very intense, but make sure you get that big step back. Your third exercise, and this is funny that we're here at this playground because one of my favorite tools, apparatuses that I ever invented, we call the cliffhanger bar. We still have it here in Madison. It's a horizontal bar. I first found this when I, before I opened my first monkey bar gym almost 20 years ago. And this is the very one right here. I was doing some pull-ups and some little kid comes up to me and it was on this place. I was doing some pull-ups over on the other side. Kid comes up to me and he goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm working out. I'm doing pull-ups and dips and stuff. And he goes, shakes his head, totally dissed me. A little kid, he was like six years old, totally dissed me. And he walks away like, God. And this, so I was like, man, did this little kid just diss me? I think he did. So what is he doing that's so much cooler than what I'm just doing? So I walked away and I went and sat over there and I was, I want to see what this little kid is doing. So sure enough, the little kid gets on these very bars and he starts doing an exercise that I, I had to do right after he left. We call them cliffhanger crawls. You get under these bars, you wrap your feet, and then you're gonna crawl like this all the way up and then crawl all the way down. And the more reps you do, the harder it's gonna be you can curl alternate and go both at the same time. This kicked my ass that first day. 
because as soon as that kid left, I was like, holy crap, that looks hard. So I came over and I started crawling up and down on this. I did alternates like I did, and then I did cliffhanger jumps like I just showed you there. Damn. Incredible pump. It's like very dynamic. It's sort of like a mix of chin-ups and kips at the same time. But because your legs are on it, and you gotta move your legs with it as well, it's a really dynamic exercise for your full body. So what I would do if I was you guys, if you can find some playground like this, you can also do the same exercise on a swing set on one of the arms of a swing set. It's just a really awesome pulling exercise. You might alternate this with your push-up exercise that, you, that I showed you. You can do 10 reps here, maybe 10 of those left-right push-ups and go all the way down 10 to two on that. Then you finish with that leg step back lunge off the log, and there you go. You got three awesome ways to do a sick workout. Almost anywhere you can do this stuff and have an amazing workout. Walk out feeling great because you were breathing the fresh air. I hope you guys dig this. We got a lot of alternative exercises on our online membership site as well. So if you have any comments or questions, throw them out there. I love helping people. Y'all have a great day. Peace. If you liked that last video, go to monkeybargym.com to learn more. Are you still here? Go. Go to monkeybargym.com to learn more. Peace.